So Jeff, where are you looking for value in this one? I'm gonna do something I, I don't think I've ever done on this oh. show. I'm gonna talk about a kicker, Chris Boswell. Uh, others, others, Pittsburgh Steelers. Look, uh, ultimately, when it comes down to it, we've got a game here with a 39 and a half point total. Uh, you've got Boswell. His home splits much better this year, averaging almost nine points at home. He's a really, really good kicker in Pittsburgh. He has been his entire career. That's mainly why the Steelers hold on to him. Uh, Heinz Field, typically like one of the toughest places to kick in the NFL. The solid kicker. Um, you know, from judge again, just from the the point total, the implied team totals we're getting here. We're probably going to get a scenario where Boswell maybe just kicking some late field goals here. We're not expecting a shootout. So, you know, you look at this for DFS. Well, who's under 5K? Everyone's going to be on the Steelers defense. Um, you know, some play people might take shots with, you know, some of the tight ends here for, for the Bears. But um, there's really nobody else here on the Steelers I want to take a shot with except Boswell, who really could be in a spot here, four or five uh, field goal attempts. So uh, it is a first for everything. And uh, Boswell is my kicker, I guess. 3,800. All right. Uh, Kenny, where are you looking for value? Yeah, look, I, I've said it a lot, and it's because he's a very smart person, and we get along and we think alike, that Jeff is right, right? There's not a lot of great value options on this slate because when you look at the snap count to the Pittsburgh Steelers, they're very heavy with Najee Harris. They're very heavy with their top two receivers, Chase Claypool and Deontay Johnson. It's really hard to find someone who's actually just going to be on the field to catch the ball or to get the ball thrown to him, right, or just have it in his hands. And one of those guys is Zach Gentry at $1,800. There is no Eric Ebron, as I mentioned. And Gentry last week played on 61% of the team snaps. He had five targets. If you're looking for someone who's going to be a bargain here, think that you can trust that Zach Gentry is going to be on the field and therefore should get thrown the football. Again, this is going to be a pass-heavy attack, I think, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, at least for half of this football game, until they build a lead on the Chicago Bears because they love to throw the football. And I think Zach Gentry should just find him his way into, you know, four or five targets again because he's going to be on the field. And you also have the added bonus that around the red zone, Ben Roethlisberger does like to target his tight ends as well. Uh, we could even see Zach Gentry score a touchdown. So I think that if you're looking for value, you probably got to look at tight ends. And I think Zach Gentry, Jesse James as well, $3,000 in a revenge spot, 54% of snaps last week for Chicago. These are not exciting options, but that's all I got, <laughs> Jesse. I'm sorry. <laughs>